Hey there, welcome. Let's take a look at how to set up a custom assistant chatbot within Instagram to serve leads or just the contacts of your customers to your own custom system so that you can contact them later and sell them your products. Now, this video is going to focus strictly on how to get this set up within Instagram. I'm not going to go too much into the details of working with custom GPTs. We're just going to figure out exactly how to do this. So to begin with, we want to set up our custom GPT server. And to allow you to do this, I've set up a really cool pod repo over here. This is a rep plate in which I've set up a custom GPT to be able to work in exactly the way that it needs to be able to work with your Instagram account. So this is a little bit different from other custom GPTs, but I've already done this for you and we're just going to go through exactly what you need to change. So you can find a link to this replit in my resources section. And all you want to do is once you click that link, head over to your replit account, sign up, create an account if you don't already have one and simply click on the fork button over here to create your own copy of this replit. Now, once you have it forked into your account, let's get on with the changes that you need to make. Now there's only a few things that you need to change and one of the main ones is inside this prompts file we have the account. So you can see in this case my assistant is a doctor care assistant. It's tailored to try and make drug deliveries for clients on Instagram and you need to change this prompt into your own custom instruction for your own custom assistant. Once you're done changing that back inside of the functions file over here you'll find a group of functions that your assistant can call. So in this case I only have the add delivery function over here. This just allows my assistant to server delivery. You can see it's accessing my Mongo server database to be able to save information to your custom database. And I'm not going to go into the details of that in this particular video, but you can set that up. And you just want to set up your assistant with pretty much any information that it needs over here using this particular line. And then down here we have the functions. And so you can just add whatever function you want to be able to add over here. And with that, the custom assistant is pretty much set up. There's just one final thing. So if I head over down here to the secrets in here, inside of my secrets, we can ignore ignore this mongo server url because we're not going to focus on adding the mongo database but down here you want to change this into your open ai api key so you just want to head over to open ai pick up an api key and then you want to come here and then you want to select edit and then you want to save your api key in here so and just like that the entire process of setting up the custom assistant server is done so let's go ahead and now focus on actually getting this integrated within our instagram account and to do this we're going to use a tool called manychat now manychat is pretty much the only actual functional Instagram bot that I've been able to find at the moment. It's really, really versatile. So it works for pretty much all Facebook products and it's going to make it really, really easy for us to connect and test our custom assistant to our Instagram account. Now to use it, you need to have your Instagram account properly set up as a business account. So you need to create a business Facebook account and then link it to your Instagram account, add your business phone number. And once you have your Instagram business account fully set up, then that's when you want to head over to ManyChat and then we can begin to connect our accounts. Now to use ManyChat with Instagram, Instagram, you need to set out a chat layout like this. I've already gone ahead and created this entire layout for you and shared it once again in the resources section in the very first link in the description. So go ahead and download this layout and then copy it into your own account. And then it will look something like this. Now, as you can see, this is a sort of flow chart, but this actually defines exactly how our bot is going to respond to certain user actions. So what we can do is we can head over to this edit automation button over here, just click that. And then we can start to take a look at these specific points within the flow chart. Now, every single automation starts with a trigger. Now triggers are different actions that users will take on your Instagram page. So replying to your story or commenting on your particular post with a specific keyword in their comment. And so you can see in this particular case, my trigger is the user sends a direct message with a specific keyword. And my keyword is simply hey or hello. Again, you can have multiple keywords over here. And so once we start that, we then go ahead and kick off all this activity within the flowchart. So from that point, we're technically interacting with the user using our custom GPT. And so to do that, we actually need to be able to link this layout to our custom GPT server. And so the way that you can do that is here back in our custom GPT server that we set up earlier. If you go ahead and hit this green run button, it goes ahead and actually starts the server. So now the custom GPT is actually listening. And if you hit this button that says new tab, you can go ahead and open this up in a new tab that will display this error, but this is actually okay. All we really need from this particular new tab is, I'll pull this down just a little bit so you can see it, is we actually need this URL at the top over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy it. And then you can go ahead and get rid of this new tab as we don't really need it anymore. And back in ManyChat, there's this particular blocks within this automation that have these links in here. All you really want to do is, is you want to click on these cards and select them. And then here, which shows the URL that it's making a call to, you just want to replace this current URL that's currently there. You want to replace this with your own URL that you've just copied. So for me, once I paste, it just goes ahead and adds my URL. And then you really want to focus on this backslash at the end and you want to make sure you remove it 
because we don't need two of them at the end. We really only need one. And so let's go ahead and save that. So that's the function that we'll go ahead and start the connection between our Instagram app and our custom GPT server on our Replit. And so once we've started that connection and once we've been able to successfully run our custom GPT, we we'll go ahead and just send back a sort of manual message here. We're just saying, hello, I'm Dr. Rodriguez. How can I assist you? So this is because this is meant to be a sort of doctor app. And so this is really what starts the message with the client. Now, once we're done sending that particular message, we go ahead and just clear a few outputs here. So essentially what we're doing is we're just clearing some of the parameters that are being used within this application. No need to worry too much about that. And then here, once again, you can see we're running yet another card that has another URL in it. So all you really want to do once again is just click on this URL, select the URL that's already there, and then just paste your own custom URL in there. And once again, confirm that there's only one backslash at the end and not two of them. And then you just want to go ahead and hit save. And now this is the part where things get a little bit intricate. So the particular problem we're dealing with here is one that's strictly with ManyChat. Again, ManyChat is really reliable, but it does have a few limitations as outside of the typical limitations we've been dealing with with other custom GPTs in that we actually need to set up ManyChat to continuously check for a reply from our custom GPT because ManyChat waits for a much shorter period of time than our custom GPT might take replying to the customer on Instagram. So what we're doing here is we're basically setting up a loop where ManyChat will consistently check our custom GPT server to make sure that it's actually done with this output. And so once it confirms that we actually have a reply from our custom GPT, it goes ahead and just sends this message back again using this card. It sends this message back to the user. And when the user goes ahead and replies with their own reply, we just go back to the very first step and we just allow this to sort of act as a loop that allows the client to continuously communicate with our custom GPT. And that's the entire process of getting this to work with your particular Instagram app. Now to go ahead and test this out, what you would need to do is click at the top here where it says preview. You just want to click that drop down and select in Instagram, then click the preview button once the Instagram icon is the one showing there. And it just shows you exactly what you need to do in order to test this out. Once you send this three digit code to your Instagram account, it will go ahead and start this particular automation for you. Now setting up these custom GPTs on Instagram can be a little bit tricky, but I'm very eager to help you guys out in the comment section. So make sure that you guys like and subscribe to this channel and post any questions that you have in the comment section. I'm super happy to help you guys out in the comment section and do reply videos to your comments as well. So thanks a bunch for watching. I will catch you in the next one and peace out.